Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. If you have multiple shapes drawn in a single path, you can also select the individual shapes in a path by using the path selection tool in the toolbox. You can then click on the individual shapes in the path to select them and view their vector and directional lines. It's right here. It shares a spot with the direct selection tool that we'll be looking at in just a moment. Give it a click. We can then go in here and we can click on any of these shapes to display their vector and directional lines. Now you can select multiple path objects by holding down the shift key and then clicking on the other shapes in the paths. Like that. Note up in the options bar that you can then align and distribute the selected path elements by the sides or along their centers by clicking the available buttons. So we can, for example, align the top edges, the vertical centers, the bottom edges, align left edges, and so forth like that. You can also check the Show Bounding Box checkbox right here to allow you to resize, move, and rotate the path as if it were a text box with a bounding box, kind of like paragraph text. Also note that you can right-click on a single selected path component to view the pop-up menu of choices. Also note from there that it's possible to fill or stroke just one component of the path if you so desire. You can also use the direct selection tool right here to directly select path elements. You click once on a path element with this tool to view its path segments. You can click and drag on the path segments directly here to warp the shape as you desire. Like that. And you can even delete a path segment by clicking on it once and then pressing the delete key on your keyboard. So that's how you work with and manipulate various paths that you create. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.